Good morning. It's September the 2nd, 2020. And we welcome you to Jake's Bounty. Let's get things going. Jake Hernandez. It is a Wednesday, a what the fuck Wednesday. So we're having a little story, and you either tell me it's true or it's fake. All right. Also, want to let you know about the music today. We have uh, Fugazi. That was their song "Waiting Room." Uh, I believe that was all the way back in uh, 1990 of their uh, album "13 Songs." Um, some of you may know the band that uh, was preceded. Uh, it was before uh, Fugazi. That was um, Minor Threat. Um, the lead singer of Minor Threat, Ian McKay, went on to form Fugazi, I think, uh, 87, 88. And shortly thereafter, they released, um, I think, this album, uh, this song titled Waiting Room. So anyway, I'm going to go and thank my sponsors right now. Uh, go ahead and pick up Cape Fear at Ray's video, one of the best damn movies I've ever seen, and it's still, like, in my top five, all right? Cape Fear, over there at Ray's video, uh, seven-day rental, uh, dollar for DVD, 50 cents, uh, VHS. All right, I'd like to thank Joseph Festein. He's got me looking so, so fine with the tie today. It is Wednesday, so I'm keeping the tie on the whole day. Um, also, I'd like to uh, thank my sponsor, Ass cleaner, that's right. I'm running out, but I'm gonna fill it back up with my refill and things will be okay. All right, so go ahead and pick yourself a uh, bottle up to date and you'll be just okay. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get to my bounty right now. So just stay right there. So we got a little bit of everything in here, and I found it very quickly. Uh, I found it at the church, just not too far from my house. And I also found it at King's Market, and I think some at AMPM, if I'm not mistaken. But it was relatively quick and over with and done with. But here we go. I'll show you some. All right, got a water bottle from, what is this, uh, Tachi Palace right here, okay? It's like 40 minutes away. It's a gaming casino in Lamorne. It's pretty tight. All right, Coca-Cola. Um, there we go. Water bottle. Let's see, squirt. And another squirt. Um, you don't hear that very much when people talk about little, little kids. They don't call them squirt, you know. They call them something else, like, no, shit, little shits. <laughs> Dasani, here we go. Uh, water bottle. And we'll go one more. There's a Venom energy drink. Uh, citrus, right there. Put these away. I don't know if you can hear my co-host over there, my dog, when she's trying to sleep. What a great co-host. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> All right, let's some shiz behind. I don't want to spray this down with that ass cleaner. All right. Wipe it up. And that'll take care of that. But I got some stuff on my hands, too. And now I'm good to go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get to some news. Uh, here we go. A new parking structure at uh, Fresno Airport to create 200 new jobs. That's right. They have just broken ground 
on this two, uh, this, uh, excuse me, new parking structure at Fresno Airport. Uh, it's supposed to be four story garage. Um, 917 new parking spaces. Wow, because you know, when I go to the airport, I never seem to get a space. That's not true. There's always enough spaces at the airport. But they say it'll create 200 new jobs. I wonder how many other jobs it'll create for uh, drug dealers, uh, prostitutes, uh, pimps, and so forth. Okay, um, man fatally shot by Clovis uh, officers. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember this, but I was talking about this maybe a week ago. Uh, this man looked like he was carrying a rifle in the uh, Walmart parking lot, right? So then they'd have to shoot him. Well, he ended up having carrying an airsoft rifle, um, as well as calling the police on himself. So there was really nothing they could do, you know. Um, they wanted him to obviously put down the weapon. He did not. And to them, it looked like a rifle. And even though it was an airsoft, uh, you know, uh, daisy, whatever the heck it was, it still, you know, to them was an endanger to their lives. So they couldn't take that chance. And, um, okay, Fresno COVID, uh, we've got good news. Fresno County COVID, no new cases has been added uh, today so far. Um, but unfortunately, we still have about 25,000 infected in uh, Fresno County, all right? Uh, Kings County, we have 6,340. Uh, Merced, 8,881. Mariposa, we have 73 uh, infected. Madera County, 3,836 infected. In Tulare, there's 14,305 infected. All right, and they just added 226 today to the uh, total. Now, that is a lot less than we have been uh, used to. Uh, there's only been adding like uh, 30 here and 20 there uh, in the last few days uh, when we're used to adding like hundreds, sometimes, uh, you know, close to a thousand. Um, so it's very good news. Hopefully it stays like this. Um, you know, there's going to be extra measures put in uh, to make sure it goes better. All right. Right now we're going to take you to the weather. Let's go to the weather. All right. If you go outside right now, it is a nice 65 degrees. But later... Excuse me, it's not a nice 65 degrees. I wish it was that cool. It is actually a nice 76 degrees. And if you go outside, later on, it'll be 99 degrees. So we're still getting that 99 degrees. Uh, and, uh, you know, make sure you rehydrate and find some shade, take a break or two, so there we go, 76 right now and 99 later on, alright, I'm going to go ahead and get to our what the fuck Wednesday story, and um, you tell me whether or not it's true or false at the end, okay, alright, a man in Japan, a man in Japan, huh, Man in Japan set up a security camera because he was suspected that someone was stealing from his kitchen. Uh, he thought it might have been an animal, but uh, what he turned out it to be a small family of three. That's right. One adult female woman and two kids. It looked like one boy, one girl living in this cabinet. Every night they'd go out to the cupboard, eat his food, even take a shower. Uh, this went on for only a couple of weeks before they were caught. Now, what do you think about this? Is this true or is this false? Go ahead and take some time. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick and talk. The answer is false. All right, and why is it false? Because only one person lived in the cupboard in this uh, Japan's, uh, this man cupboard. And the person there, 
did not do it for a week, but he did it for a whole year, in fact. A whole year. Can you believe that? Insane, all right? So there's our what-the-fuck story. Um, tomorrow, that's right, tomorrow, Thursday, we're going to be doing Throwback Thursday. We're having down memory lane. Have some uh, new music I'm sure you guys haven't heard of. Maybe you have. Uh, maybe it'll be like today where you have heard of this song or just not in a long time. All right, but we also have my bounty. We'll have news. We'll have, uh, you know, like I said, uh, more things to come. And um, I imagine we'll even have a new color guard commercial. But for right now, let's go ahead and have some more Fugazi. Um, this is their song, Waiting Room. But before I do that, uh, I'd like to thank my sponsors again, Joseph S. Stein, uh, Ass Cleaner. And also, go get Cape Fear, Ray's video, alright? Now here we are, Fugazi, with Waiting Room. See you guys tomorrow. By the way, I did find this mitt on my uh, little excursion today for uh, Jake's Bounty. So you can go to jakesbounty.com, type in the word mitt, M-I-T, you get this guy for $6.99, all right? It's a right-handers baseball mitt. Oops. You put it on, you know, throw. There we go. Haven't done that in a long time. Up at my site for $5.99. Also, the mandalas. You get them two for two ninety nine, all colored in, done and good for you. There you go, just like that. All right, get off my back. Been doing something, right? <laughs> okay, now we can go to the credits. I'll see you tomorrow. You guys have a good, safe day. Jake's Bounty was filmed at Fornicate Yourself Records 2020. You can go follow him at Facebook. Just don't follow him getting cans. Go to his channel, give him a like, and leave him a comment.